Hey there YouTube, just bringing you a new channel here. My name's Tasty, and what I'm gonna be doing is teaching you guys how to make your own e-juice out of some equipment that I have. So I'm gonna go over the equipment in this video to show you what I use in order to make that juice. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down in the comments down below. And I'd greatly appreciate a like and a subscribe. It would greatly help me out and knowing that I'm doing something that you guys wanna see. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video itself and make sure that you guys know what equipment you're supposed to use whenever making juice. All right, so here's some of the equipment that I actually use uh, every time that I make juice here. So like I said, you know, let's go over the kind of the basics here of what we're going to be doing to actually making juice, because that's that's the most important part is how we're going to make this juice here and what equipment we're going to be using in this video. So as you can see here, some of the first stuff that we'll bring up here is you want some of these gloves. Now they don't have to be powdered free or vinyl by any means. Whatever gloves you want to do uh, is just fine by me as long as you're wearing them because of the fact that you're going to be working with nicotine and it's a very dangerous substance. Not only that, it makes the cleanup a heck of a lot easier when you don't have to wash your hands. Next up here, what we're going to be bringing you is syringes without needles. Now, it's very important because you don't really need the needles. And for a lot of the juices that I make, you know, I'm making 10, 30, or 60 milliliter bottles for myself. I usually don't make any. Sometimes I make some for some friends, but other than that, it's mainly just for me. And I use these 3 mil milliliters for most of the mixing because it does great for 60 milliliter bottles which lasts me a couple of weeks rather than running out after a week or so and the next thing here you know we got our one millimeter syringes that you know are good for definitely getting in that smaller quantity of juices whenever you're doing creams or light flavors there you want a little bit so it'd be like 1.5 or 1.76 and that's where you're going to be using those things at. Now next up here, you know, let's bring it in here. And we're going to be looking at our actual equipment that we use for measuring. Adjust the camera just a tiny bit. So now this one's very important because as you can see, it goes up to 100. So when measuring out, you know, 43 or so, it is pretty easy inside of there. Another one is this 50 milliliter, because if you're doing, you know, 43 milliliters, you fill it up almost all the way and it, it's pretty simple. And then, you know, these beakers are not too bad. They're little 100 milliliter ones, so if you want bigger ones to make like 120 milliliter juices or anything like that, then I recommend standing up and getting, stepping up and getting one of these. Just because it goes up to 250 milliliters approximately. And, you know, it's glass. It, this can be heated up if you ever needed it to, which you don't for making juice. But if you ever need it to, you could. Or, you know, it's good for many other uses. Freaking your friends out and drinking coffee out of it. That's a good one, too. Now, moving right along here, we'll start off with some of the juice stuff that we have. Now, one that I rarely use in juice is going to be the PG here. You know, it's just because this gives you more of a throat hit, and I'm not looking for a huge throat hit. I seem to get that just fine out of adding a lot of flavorings that have PG and making it about a 15 to 85% ratio there with everything. Now this I order a lot of, which is the VG here. What, you know, this is gonna be the main component that I use for all the juices. And as you can see, I get it from Liquid Barn. I don't need a whole lot, I don't make a whole lot, so it's relatively cheap for what I get there and it's great quality. A lot of Liquid Barn stuff is really great great quality. It's where I got my first starter pack was from Liquid Barn. Next up is gonna be the US Liquid Nicotine. Now this is what I say get your gloves for. And as you can see, it's VG based, so it mixes quite well with anything. And it's 48 milligrams. Now, with 48 milligrams, you do have to do a little bit more math 
because when you're breaking it down and if you have 100 milliliters and you have 100 milligrams, uh, it's a much easier division property rather than doing 48 divided by 100, you're doing 100 divided by 100 to get a much less, much equal number that's a little bit less on the actual nicotine as well. Now some of the flavors that I use, you know, blue raspberry is definitely one of them I like quite often there. And, you know, it's not too bad of a flavor. It's, you know, just fine by itself. But added with some other ones like strawberry and banana and cream, you get yourself a nice mixture of fruit with everything. And, you know, Liquid Barn is definitely a big proprietor of getting a lot of you know, my cells. There we go, focused on them. But also, I go to this other place called Bull City Vapor. Now, they are seem to be more of a wholesale website that get other people's juices and sell it in their own containers. I've always gotten it in this type of container with, you know, a little bit different uh, labeling each time, but it's around the same. And it's not too bad. You know, I've, I haven't gotten anything that wasn't bad quality from there, although, you know, they are relatively cheap. It's what you want to do, you know, try to find things that are a little bit cheaper there for you guys. Because you're trying, that's why you're making juice in the first place is because it's a cheaper alternative than going out and spending 50 bucks every couple of weeks on juice there. Now, the last thing that we're going to talk about here in the video is going to be this, bottles. Very important, you know, obviously, because you can't, Put your juice in anything if you don't have a bottle. And I usually use 60 milliliter bottles because like I said it just lasts a little bit longer and it's a little bit better but I do have 10 and 30 milliliter bottles as well. Other than that you know it's pretty self-explanatory once we get into actually making it we will see a lot more. A couple things that I didn't mention off in this thing. This is also very important. It is a mixer allows you to mix everything up super quick within about 30 seconds or so rather than you having to shake it up for about two to three minutes you just mix it with that for about 30 seconds and you're good to go another great thing i actually got this with the 60 milliliter bottles is this tiny funnel it's great for putting that juice in that bottle it just lets you go right in there smooth and easy like a hand into a nice glove and it goes right in i've never had any problems it's improved my pour, pouring abilities when pouring that juice there other than that then guys let's shoot it back over do a little outro and we'll be good to go all right there so there you go you can see there that you know the equipment that i used if you did have any questions over anything that I did today in today's video, please go ahead and leave that down in the comments down below. I'll do my best to get back at it. I, I do work a normal job, so it will be a little bit hard, but I'll answer as fast as I can to any questions that you guys have. And I'm also gonna leave some links in the description to let you guys know where I got the stuff from. Other than that, stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna get into what website I use and how I actually come up with the juice that I make.